Hi guys, this is Scribbly again with another product review. And today I have something fairly interesting for you. It's a custom made pen pouch by Krohn Leather Goods based out of Eastern Europe. I have had uh, pen pouches made by them before and I have reviewed them before. Just search for Krohn Leather Goods on my YouTube channel or on my website slash blog. Um, and I was very, very pleased with uh, what I've got gotten before. Uh, a Kaweco Sport Pen Pouch. Very, very cool. And uh, I've been in contact with them ever since. I do chat with their owner every now and then uh, via WhatsApp. Here you have their full contact details with uh, Etsy shop and so on. If you want to check out what they have, they do make a lot of different pen pouches, but also other leather products, I think, wallets and so on. You know, just, just check them out and, and see for yourself. But as said... I'm chatting with their owner, with Mirka, every now and then. And then once I said, you know what, Mirka, I have a problem. And the problem being is large pens. And as all you pen friends know out there, you know, finding a pen pouch for a Pelican M400 isn't a problem because that one basically fits in everywhere. But finding a pen pouch where you comfortably and nicely can put in a 149 Mont Blanc or a Pelican M1000 does get a little bit challenging. Now, I'm not like a large pen person. and These are my two and my only large pens. But, you know, having had those pens, I had problems to fit them in any pen pouch, actually. I also don't know own a lot of pen pouches. I just own a few. I, I generally don't own a lot of stationary items. Uh, so I have this pen pouch here, which I really, really love. Uh, had once this color, got nice patina. I use that loads. It's like the Paper Republic one, but you know there is no chance I'm gonna get that M, uh, that one forty nine or that one M one thousand in there for that matter. It just, just no chance. You know, uh, M four hundred, no problem. Everything up to Alami 2000 works great. That's my normal pen sizes, but that's about it. I have this uh, fantastic pen pouch here made by Garland Leather, which I'm going to review very soon as well. But by any stretch of the imagination, the M800 is sort of like the limit of what I can put in there. It's a fantastic pen pouch. I love it, but you know... That's where it stops. I could probably force that pen in there, but I would probably not really get it out anymore. So, you know, finding most of the average pen pouches, they are sort of around, have the upper limit capacity of an M800. So I got in touch with Mirka and I said, hey Mirka, can you do something for me? Can you make something that would fit those large pens? And they made something for me and I wanted to just show you that one right here, uh, just to let you know so there's like a few things that i love about it there's a few things that i don't like that much which is not grown leather's fault uh, just because uh, they made it uh, you know sort of like we prototyped and sort of like co-created that thing a little bit together so we debated forth and back what could the design look like what may be a possible solution leather thickness and so on they in the end made it according to sort of like my lead, my specifications. So anything that gotten wrong here is entirely up to me, not up to them, uh, because uh, I could have said differently. We tried something out. What I really want to show you here is, you know, there's like someone in Eastern Europe that can make, and I mean, that thing uh, was then 55 euros. So that's what you would pay for this real leather, everything handmade with personalization absolutely fantastic quality and i want to show you the quality and what i really want to tell you is you know like there's someone where you could sort of like you know co-create and prototype and develop something to your liking so uh, that's not a standard off-the-shelf product right here so let's take a look at it you know it's a it's a fantastic pen pouch obviously it looks a little bit like these like cigar pouches where you could also transport cigars in there um I, I took that one as an inspiration and uh, sent the picture of that one uh, to Krohn Leather Goods and said like, you know, I really love this. Can we maybe do something along those lines? Um, so that's what we then ended up with, uh, so to speak, with these like three different 
compartments, if you will. A very nice leather color, very nice leather material, smells fantastic leather, very nice uh, personalization. My initials here. You can obviously choose leather color, leather thickness. You can choose threading color. This here is the Krone logo, which is in here. I'll just show you a little bit up close so that you can see the quality of the work, the precision, finishing of the edges right here. Just so you can see that a little bit. And uh, I think, love the smell, still smells fantastic leather. And I think what uh, we ended up with here is pretty neat, is pretty lovely. So, takes the M1000 and the M, uh, the, the Mont Blanc 149 without a problem, obviously. Closes very nicely. So, I love the product. I love the finishing. If I would do it again, there would be a couple of things that I would probably be doing different. Like, so if I would have to order it again, there would be a, a couple of tweaks that I would be doing um, to that one. First of all, I think for my taste, it had turned out slightly too long. You know, it really, if you see a Pelican M400 beside it, it's really not a very compact solution right now. It's really, really large. This is this other, this other one uh, beside so it's a little bit of inefficient use of the space. Maybe we would have put these a little bit tighter together. So it would have become a little bit slimmer. And I think um, we could have also made it sort of like a centimeter or maybe even one and a half centimeters shorter. That would have made it a lot more space efficient. I would probably next time say, you know why it's great to use a bit of a thicker, sturdier leather. I would probably ask them to make the leather a little bit thinner, just so it doesn't put, put that much strain on the clip right here, because it does bend the clip up quite a bit. I do think that the clip can take that without a problem. Uh, this is on a smaller pen now, so on the M400, you see it does bend it quite a bit. That's probably like, I don't know, two millimeters thick leather, unscientifically right here. So I would probably say like, make it a bit thinner, I would feel more comfortable if it would be a bit thinner just because it wouldn't bend the clip so much. I don't think it will do anything to the pens, but that's just something. And I would probably ask next time to put the closure here a little bit lower and then make that flap a little bit longer just because if you put the pens in right now and you want them to stick out a little bit just that you can get them out a little bit more comfortably, then the flap really won't close in that deep you know something like that one right here so that you have that little bit of head space to leave the pens out just that little bit so if you want that flap to close properly then the pens will slide in quite a bit right here um, which then you know just gives you you still get them out no problem but it just doesn't give you that much space to grip so that's something that i would probably couple of things that I would do differently next time. Other than that, I really love the product. I think it's fantastic. It's great, oops, it's great to transport those larger pens. I think it's like top-notch finishing quality. So, you know, everything that I was just pointing out right now, full blame on me, doesn't have anything to do with those guys here because like they sort of, like I said, made it according to my specs. That's that with that review, what I really wanted to tell you, you know, as I said in the beginning, very cool that we have these like small makers out there in the stationary community that can sort of like uh, make you something custom made. So don't you don't have to order, you know, a Caveco pouch or Mont Blanc pouch or Lamy pouch or what, what not off the shelves, but you can really, you know, get that custom custom made work. Guys, I hope that uh, review of that sort of like co-creation prototype right here or so to speak the the introduction of this brand or reintroduction of this brand uh, is helpful to you check them out and i'll see you at the next review ciao ciao